Hello and welcome to this video of installing Ubuntu on VMware Workstation 14. This will take you through installing or downloading Ubuntu from their website, installing it as an ISO and going through the default settings and then just updating any files or updates that are available. So the first thing we do is go to www.ubuntu.com and obviously there's various versions of desktop, enterprise, anything like that. So for ourselves, if we just scroll down to desktop, click on download Ubuntu, and then click download. I've already downloaded this version of the ISO because it can take quite a while to download depending upon your broadband. And just to keep this video a little bit smaller, it's we've already downloaded it. Next thing we do is open up a VMware Workstation, which I have here. Click on Create a New Virtual Machine. And you can either select Typical or Custom. I always prefer to go Custom because you can tweak it a little bit more. Click Next. Next. Find the installer disk for yourself. I have mine in Downloads Ubuntu. Click Next. Give it a name that you're going to use. For argument's sake, let's put mine in. Username, whichever username you want. Nice strong password. Click next. Give it a name that you want to, or you can give it as a button. How many processes you want, depending on your machine, you might only have one or two. So I want to give mine two and two cores. How much memory you want to give it? Again, it depends on how much memory your machine has. I'm just going to leave it the default here of one gig. Click next, and you can <coughs> excuse me. You can type this. You can configure this type of network connection that you want. By default, and that will work great for you. If you want to use bridged, that'll emulate the machine as in being on your network as a physical machine sort of thing. But for this demo, we're just going to keep it as NAT. Click next. Click next. And next, just accept all the defaults pretty much. Here, yeah, put the size of the hard disk that you want for your uh, VM. If you're just playing around 20 gigs, fine. If you're going to use it for a lot of other things, install lots of applications, you might want 40 or 60 gig. I'm just going to leave it as 20 for here. Click next. And uh, that's just the name of the file that's going to create. Click next and then click finish. And give it a second. And then VMware is just going to start loading up the ISO that we added and go through installation process for VMware. This can take a few seconds initially depending upon your machine. As you can see here it's just starting to initialize and install the installation procedure. And it's just verifying the installation. It's just going through, looking at all the hardware that's on this virtual machine. This bit can take quite a while. Depending again, depending upon the speed of your machine, how big your hard disk is, and many other things like that. So, just give it time; it, it will come back and um, progress from there. If this takes a while. I'll just pause the video and then come back. So here we are. We just come back after a little bit. It's nearly finished installing. It's just going through installing all the last bit of. Parts of the system and applications. <clears throat> if you want to get a bit more of a detailed information on what it's actually downloading and installing and configuring, you can actually click here and give it a second, it'll actually pop up and just give you a bit more detailed in depth of what it's doing. Maybe. Okay, maybe it doesn't like that uh, running in this version. 
but as we can see it actually gives you a bit of information about what it's installing on these little screenshots here so LibreOffice which is a good alternative to Microsoft um, Microsoft Office if you need a, an Office product and as you can see here it's just finished installing it's just rebooting the machine or the virtual machine and in a couple of seconds hopefully it'll come back up boot up and then we can log into Ubuntu for the first time can take quite a while the first time it boots up it's just configuring all the settings and things like that might take one or two restarts as it's just done here just going through as you can see there it's installing open VM tools which allows you to display the virtual machine in a um, good color quality good um, resolution and will scale to whatever your resolution is on your computer Apologies if you've just turned my uh, laptop just suddenly spin up, the fans kicking through quite a bit. I should have probably down the amount of CPUs that I have on this virtual machine. But uh, as you can see here, it looks like it's just going to work. Okay, and eventually uh, I figured out what my password was. And uh, as soon as you log in, you get the screen here, what's new in Ubuntu. <clears throat> and you can just click through and uh, just tell you what you want, you can set up live patch now which will just set it up and keep your computer up to date and then just hit next 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 if you like you don't have to send information to Ubuntu and then click done now the first thing I like to do is once I've installed this is get your computer fully up to date so if you just click down around here with show applications type in terminal which is um, kind of like a DOS based thing if you're in a Microsoft um, environment click on this and then give it a second because it's still just finishing a few things off and then it's just sudo which takes you to root which is the privileged mode then yum update press enter put your password in if you actually remember it Actually, it's not yum, it's apt. I always get them the wrong way around. <clears throat> and then this will just go through, check the Ubuntu servers, see what updates are available against your computer that you've just installed and what's against the server. As you can see here, it, well, it's just popped up here, it's software update is ready. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna see that 208 packages can be upgraded. So all you just do is say upgrade. Present now. Say yes, and it'll just go down. Pull all the latest updates down, and that is your machine fully up to date. And that is pretty much it for uh, this video. A bit rough and ready, and uh, it also helps if I actually remember what my password is when I install the OS. But other than that, yeah, leave some comments in the uh, below, and if you like this video, give it a good like. And if you have any other suggestions of what type of videos you'd like to have in the in the near future, uh, let us know. We're looking at doing a few more Linux related videos and a few other videos regards to information security, hacking and everything else. So if you have anything that you'd like to see, let us know. Other than that, say it, thanks.